Today, we're talking about Rocket League settings that actually give you a competitive edge. Number one, name tag size. It sounds kind of weird, but having larger name tags is straight up better. This is low name tag size versus high. You may have seen situations before where the ball blocks your view of a player and maxing name tag size will fix this in most situations. Two, FPS. If you're on console, this is less relevant, but a lot of people don't know the higher FPS you have, the lower will be your input delay. In a game like Rocket League, input delay is so important that I recommend even if you don't have like a 360 FPS monitor, still set your max FPS at 360 for the best results in game. Three, shutting off graphics. You may have noticed that almost every comp player completely shuts off their graphics settings. And that's no coincidence. Graphics are distracting, make it harder to isolate the ball on the field, and for what it's worth, lower performance. The only one you should have on though is transparent goalposts. You're going to want this on on defense. Lastly, quick chats. If you didn't know, you can customize every single one of your quick chats in the last menu of your settings. I suggest binding on your left, on your right, and need boost for solo queue kickoffs. That's Rocket League settings you probably didn't know would help, but if you have more, let me know below. And as always, if you're new here, what's up? My name's Luke. I'm a Rocket League coach. My coaching program has helped over 700 players, I think, like you you get unhard stuck in Rocket. And if you want to learn more about my coaching, DM me coach over on Discord. I'll have my Discord linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.